This is a video of a basement that we did. I'll do a quick overview of it in this video and then I might add more to it down the road in different parts. So to start, we come down the basement hall, uh, stairway and there's a keep out on the wall. This is a, the color code isn't matched yet and the custom plate hasn't been ordered, but we walk in and we just hit the bright. It turns on kind of a bright scene, so when you're coming down just to get set up, all the lights turn on for the most part. That's a theater screen. There's another keypad on the back wall, another lighting keypad here. It has different scenes in it, so for example we can hit, um, let's say, entertain. I'll bring the lights down to a different level or we can hit the, this is the shade control button it's just an up and down basically for this particular button but if we hit this see all the shades come down at the same time and then uh, let's just go back to a bright scene here for a second and then over here we've got a uh, actually one other thing. This is our the master keypad. This controls the whole house, uh, so we can we can uh, control lighting through the whole house, turning lights on and off. It's the same as our other videos, so it's all 3D model orientated. Climate controls here. Uh, shades are here. All the standard stuff that you've seen in other videos if you've watched any of them. And then as we come over here, there's a, just a tablet. This is just a, an Android tablet, but you can use any iPad or whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, so there's a few features built in here. This one, uh, automated activity. So if we hit this, so we come down to watch sports. I changed lighting scenes, turning on two bar TVs, both to two different sports channels. And the audio over to uh, the left TV. So now we've got a, an interface here in order to control it, showing the. Uh, you can see the left TV is um, left TV. It's here, control right TV, and this one is for the audio. So say we want to control the left TV. Let's just change the channel to say CBC. Okay. And we want to go to NBC on the right TV. I'll change the channel over to that. Now say we want to listen to the TV on the right. We can see in the background, left TV is on SHA-1, the right TV is on SHA-2, audio is on SHA-1 in the background. So we want to change it to listen to SHA-2, it's no problem. Or say we want to listen to the radio instead, or maybe some music. Right now it's on uh, Sirius XM, hits one. It was paused. We've got some on the music, this is just Sonos, but we have uh, some favorites built in. So let's say uh, we want to listen to classic rock. This is just a playlist, classic rock playlist. That'll switch the music over to that particular playlist. Then you can control it from here. Okay, and then we want to go back and listen to, say the game's back on, we want to go back and listen to Shaw 1. Again, we can change, we can also change sources, obviously. Uh, so on the left TV instead, we want to watch Apple 1, maybe. Uh, and on the right, uh, Apple 2. We're still listening to Shaw 1. So if we wanted to listen to Apple One, obviously we'd have to push Apple One at the same time. This is all controlled independently so that you're not uh, switching. When you switch a video source, you might not necessarily want to listen to it. Say if you're listening to music and you want to watch a different source, then uh, it doesn't switch over the audio automatic automatically. We can do that if we want, but it's a little easier to use this way for, for a bar type situation. Um, if your favorite team scores, then uh, you can push the goal light. 
uh, lighting control again is the same sort of idea so if we want to turn off the lights down here we see we're at the bar so we can simply click this so this we've got a program particular on this one not to control the uh, LED lights when we turn them off um, we can turn we can add that in if we want it turn them back on again you can see in the uh, so, or we can select the scenes over here. Just go back to a casual type scene. You can see in the background that the LED lighting on the shelves and, and uh, underneath the bar and that sort of thing is uh, changing. We've got this programmed to just change colors slowly over time. That again is totally customizable uh, by the by the user. I won't go through that in this video. And then when we're all done, uh, let's turn some music on here actually. Let's go bar. This is a uh, same control as if you've watched any of the other videos. Again, it's the same idea to control different different rooms. We want to control the music in the bedroom over here. We would just select the bedroom, and you can kind of hear it turn on in the background. I'll turn it up. Okay, but we want to go back and control the bar. The bar is a, that brings us back to that same interface. Let's go to the radio in the bar and controlling the audio. Uh, this has a, sometimes you're watching the theater at the same time, so we've got it set to, uh, the theater's not on right now, but if it was, we can control the volume independently in both the theater and the uh, bar, since they're in the same room. But the control volume, it's pretty simple. And then when we're all done, uh, we can either do it from here, basement all off, or uh, usually you're, you're not using that keypad when you're done at the end of the night. You just uh, come back over to the keypad here, if it focuses in, and hit basement all off. And that will turn off the TVs. It takes a second, but turns off TVs and all the lighting is turning off at the same time. And then you're done. Uh, if we want to put the shades back up again, we can program that into that scene as well, but we don't have it programmed in currently for that scene. Simple as that. That's it.